Want to know how much SLPs make? Is speech pathology a good career? On this week's episode, we'll let you know. Hi, I'm Melissa Joseph. I'm a certified speech language pathologist. And I'm Haley McCute, and I'm a certified speech language pathologist assistant. And we're the Pediatric, Pediatric Speech Pals. Hello. Hi, welcome. 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 Woohoo. Welcome back. Yay. <laughs> On this week's episode, we're going to let you know if being an SLP is a good job or not. Yes. And the shorter answer is yes. Okay, that's it. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just kidding. <laughs> we will let you know why. So, um, according to the U.S. News, being a speech language po- being a speech language pathologist was rated number seven in all in the top one hundred jobs. Yes, and it was rated number four in um, healthcare jobs. Hmm. That's pretty high. It is. That I is know. I was like, oh, go us. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, also, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, workers in this field earn an average of about seventy three thousand dollars annually. Ooh, touching. Which pretty good that's pretty good that's all around um so also depending on i mean where you live and stuff like that that changes um if that's a good pay or not but that's like average yeah and it's the fastest growing like career career it grows way faster than average so that's also positive so money is always increasing Mm -hmm. um that's good to know and um but you can and you can earn more money too like that's just the average that there's also you know tons of people who make more than that yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's endless possibilities of growth for sure. Yes. Yay. So um, we kind of developed a list about why it is worth it for Haley and I um, to be SLPs. Obviously, mm-hmm. she is still continuing it and I am still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so here's our list, I guess. Yay. So um, the one of the things, especially when I guess if when I Googled like, do I want to be an SLP? The first thing I did was Google the pay. The pay was good. I liked it. And mm-hmm. um, then the second was that there's endless amounts of growth. So, like, you can not only just be a speech pathologist, but you could also do more things on top of that, like oral facial myology. And you could do more, like, in the surgery type things. You could also do more, NICU. like, NICU things. There's, like, endless amounts of things that you could do. Like, you basically don't mm-hmm. ever have to be bored. Like, mm-hmm. it's never going to be the same job. I mean, you could stay the same. You can for sure stay in the same setting, in the same field, and do the same things. But you can always change and always grow yeah. into literally anything that you want it to be. If you're an indecisive person, it might be good for you. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you can go everywhere. I mean, I had a t- uh, professor for a little bit who did um, special populations. And she just kind of, like, hopped and hopped and hopped and hopped because she just, like, liked everything. And so she just continue to change and learn and grow and um if you thrive in that and just want to continue to learn more and see different populations and that would be perfect for you because you can do that Mm -hmm. and if you're bored because you're working at a you know say a a a private practice that isn't your own and or a school or something like that and you just want a little bit more like autonomy something like flexibility something like that you can also just like you know post a sign on your door and do a couple extra steps and then suddenly you run your own business and now you can you know yeah. have say for everything so exactly. there's a lot of flexibility and i guess money on that that um one too where you can kind of continue to grow yourself yeah you can make more money as you you know better your career get more certifications um mm-hmm. like but i will say i mean being an slp i mean yeah it does pay well but i wouldn't necessarily put that as, like, the top factor of, like, why I like the job. Oh, yeah, no. Like, it's not my top. I love the job because I love the babies and the kids and, (laughs) you know, like, the people we work with. Um, So I would say that's probably why the job is so good to start with. So if, like, you like, you know, working with people and you want to help people and, you know, it's it's rewarding for you to um, give back in a different way, then I think that is for sure why this job would be something that you would want to pursue. Yes, I agree. I mean, I'm not to say like the money was the first part, but I think that's what a lot of people, for me, for me, it was like the first thing I went to go look for because obviously everyone wants a job that you can have good money. But that yeah. is now that is not my reason at all. It's yeah, yeah. to help people. It's the endless amount of 
amounts of growth. I'm also get I also get bored super easily. So like this is great because I can be ever changing in my mm-hmm. career if I want to be. Yeah. So that's bonus. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yay. Um another thing that um is important because I remember going in and I, I wanted to feel like a professional, you know, and and I wanted to have that um I don't know. I guess I don't even know how to put it other besides like a professional setting. And this is very much professional. People treat you like you're a professional. Um, You're in healthcare, you know, so like they rely on your word. They trust you. And, you know, if you build that, um, you know, rapport and stuff, but it's just it's nice to be able to know the information and to share it with families and, um, you know, kids or adults whoever you know whatever population you're working with but just to kind of be able to help them in a way that you know you know the information and you can change their life Mm -hmm. essentially so um yeah you feel like that professional person walking around that you would see in hallmark movies or something (laughs) (laughs) that's cool yeah um uh also you have the ability to move around so meaning like you can um like the schedules it's very flexible job so like if you have to if you're a part of a family that needs to like upward and move a lot like you can move to a new state and you know Mm -hmm. work on getting a new license and you can get a job there um it's really flexible for if you're like a working parent or if you're Mm -hmm. in school you know you don't have to work those um 40 hours a week you can work you know i have people in my office that work just one day a week or a few hours a day it's very flexible which is very nice for if you have like an ever-changing life schedule Mm -hmm. yeah because if you think about it you take on one client and then that's once a week you know or twice a week depending on how often they need it but it's like that's your client if you take on two clients you you work two hours a week you know Mm -hmm. so it's it's not like you have a job that you have to you know continuously go back to it's like yeah i mean if the parents reach out if things happen then you have to come back to it but like ultimately that's that's what your job is is that direct hour time so um Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, you you can really do two hours a week if you want. Um, and there's no, like, expectation of doing more unless, you know, somebody reaches out or something. But, yeah. And also, we're always in demand. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, I mean, who knows, you know, what holds in the future or anything. But, I mean, it seems to be a continuously growing, you know, kind of what we had mentioned at the beginning. Like, people will continuously need us. Like, yeah. And because we work with all populations, like – not a certain age i mean yeah pediatrics will work with yeah, certain ages yeah we're certain but like age. the profession of a speech language pathologist can work with anybody so yeah, literally all ages zero to death yeah so essentially i mean we could always be with a job yeah there's endless amounts of jobs mm-hmm. like that was also a big takeaway for me too is like i knew i knew when i graduated i would not have a problem with getting a job yes i know like times have changed now but when i graduated college like i know that that was a huge deal was that people were trying to apply and get interviews for jobs like six months before they even graduated because yeah. there was like it was so demanding so difficult to get a job like there was just so many people trying to get into all the same field yeah so it was nice to know that like no matter where I end up I know that I will have a job and I feel like that's the difference is like you work so hard to get into grad school because it's so competitive Mm -hmm. that you no longer have to work hard when you're trying to get I mean obviously you have to present yourself and you know people can say no to you whatever but it's not as hard as some somebody who maybe just came out with like a generic degree or just some you know a different degree it's like well, you have a specific niche degree mm-hmm. and so you know when you're looking for speech language pathologists like if you have went to grad school you have the credentials you know yeah. um so it's nice yeah um and also you get to work in healthcare without having to go to the thousand years of school so yes. you you know essentially are still working side by side like if you are interested in healthcare and want to be in that world but you aren't interested in like all the super bio classes and the chemistry classes or you can't afford or don't want to go to school for 10 years or however however long you know the schooling is for the profession that you want you you know have to just get your undergrad it's six years of commitment for school and then you're essentially done with school Mm -hmm. so I mean obviously there's continuing education that you have to do throughout your career but it is similar close to being in the healthcare world and getting all the same benefits as healthcare, you know, of being, you know, very high rewards, helping others, mm-hmm. you know, 
on that first like scene of like, you know, medical advances and stuff like that without having to, you know, spend hundreds and thousands of dollars right. of, of going to school yeah. or being in school for forever. Yeah. I so. mean, that's not to say that grad school is cheap because it's not. But it's not. At but the same time, it's not as much as the four, extra four years. Yeah. So sometimes that's an appealing thing to people too mm-hmm. is that you want to be in healthcare, but you're not a doctor. You don't want to be a doctor. Yeah. You don't want to do a nurse, you know, with all the other medical fields that you can be in, but you're close. And you can also collaborate with a lot of people. So like part of our job is collaborating with the other people that your client is seeing or mm-hmm. professionals. So occupational therapists, you know, physical therapists, physical therapists, behavior um, therapists. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the list can go on of, you know, doctors, you know, yeah. pediatricians, uh, special yeah. neurologists, like, yeah. you know, just like any other professional you are, you know, their colleague and you're communicating with them and you're doing whatever you can to treat your client um you know in the best whole person way yes so that's cool too Mm -hmm. yes yeah and also a good thing in this career is that you can like me work in the field before even having to get your master's and even without even getting your undergraduate degree like you can work with just an associate's degree as a slipa um which is awesome too. So yeah. there is like you can have the ability to be in the field without having to go all the way too. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. obviously the pay is much different, but if you but you can do it, you could do it, and yeah. we highly encourage it. Yeah. <laughs> um, like we said, there's endless amounts of jobs, and we always need more. So mm-hmm. that's fine too. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of great things to yeah. come in this field, and um, I mean besides like all the specific points, I mean. I love my job. You know, I oh, yeah. I continuously love my job. I'm very happy to go to work. Sometimes, you know, if I'm in a not so great mood, it's like I go see my kiddos and I leave and I'm in a great mood. Like oh, yeah. it's just like they change my day and they change my mood like and completely brighten it. And so mm-hmm. um, I just, you know, I only say great things about being a speech pathologist and you know it's not it's not everybody's point of view I do see some speech pathologists who you know do everything do the degree and then they want to move on but I feel like most of you know the SLPs I talk to it they're happy with the job and they like the job and um, you can find something to do that you love even if a specific aspect of it isn't something you love Um, you can find something within it Mm -hmm. so or change it to make it more of Mm -hmm. something you love um so there's kind of a little spot for everybody and it's a good you know good career good outcome good you know just everything i highly recommend like i already said it's never boring my job is never boring yeah i mean every day is something new i'm always learning too which is nice Mm -hmm. um it's just all around a great job and I feel like it makes me also a more well-rounded person with all the different walks of life that I see every Mm -hmm. day you know I I think wholeheartedly and generally like perspective my perspective is just way different um I have literally nothing negative to say I mean I don't seriously yeah Yeah. I mean we may (laughs) we may be biased but um (laughs) yeah but we could hate it like you know we might we would tell you I would tell you if I I mean obviously we don't we started a podcast about it but I mean like (laughs) We would tell you. We'd be honest if we if we didn't like it. But. Or, like, say if something we didn't like about it. Yeah. But, I mean, nothing in life is perfect. Yeah. Um, I mean, and if you uh, check out our pros and cons. Um, about teletherapy. Our previous, yeah, we, yeah, one of our previous videos. I mm-hmm. mean, we'll tell you some of the cons of, like, the specific job. But, again, that doesn't mean that we don't hate. I mean, there's pros and cons to every job. So, yes. like, and that con may be a con to me, but wouldn't be a con to you. Exactly. So. Um, but that's just life in general. Yeah. So. And we could always switch it up. And then now that wouldn't be a con because we're in a different part of a speech pathology. So Exactly. I don't know. To bring it back to like (laughs) flexibility. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. Like I have people in my clinic like that literally are moms and they can only work from like, you know, from nine to 12 and then they have Mm -hmm. to pick up their kid from school and it's totally fine. Like it's so good. It's a great job. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So we're always going to recommend it. But um, (laughs) if you have any questions about the job or any other, um, I mean, I feel like we say this all the time, but I mean, it's the same. We'll answer it for you. Just ask us. Um, But yeah, I mean, we love it. Yes. Anything else to add, Haley? No, I think we hit it all. All right. Perfect. Well, that is why we think, I guess now we can answer it fully. 
Yes, we think it's a good job. Yes, it is the best job. <laughs> we'll answer it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we hope you have a good week and we hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye. If you are ever curious about where we got our research or want to learn more, refer to our YouTube description box where we will leave links to the resources we used. We'd like to thank our producer, David Martinez. If you want more speech tips, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on our Facebook page, follow us on our Instagram and TikTok at Pediatric Speech Pals. Lastly, if you have any questions or concerns, email us at pediatricspeechpals at gmail.com.